Hello, Option Chasers. So today we're going to be going over three different charting indicators. We're going to go over moving averages, exponential moving averages, and also candlestick charting patterns. Um, these all assist with painting a bigger picture when graphing crypto, forex, or even stocks. It's really essential to understand the bigger picture when trading because these will assist you finding micro blips and then gap ups or gap downs. So it's really crucial for a bullish and bearish behavior. Uh, what is a moving average? And a moving average is when you take the closing price of a certain period of days and then divide it by the yeah. same amount of days. So we'll just use nine. So you'll take nine of the closing prices and then divide it by nine, overlay that indicator on your chart, and it'll show you when the overall pricing of the stock will be bullish or bearish. The same thing will, with the exponential moving average. What those do is they take all the exponents of the data rather than just the closing price and gives you more quantitative data. The difference between the two is one will be better for shorts and one will be better for long-term trades. So it depends on what you're doing there. Next we have off is candlestick patterns. Candlestick patterns are really interesting. They're a little bit more complex, but they're fun to read. What quintessentially they are is when you see volume during a certain time period when you look at charts, and these volume sticks will actually show overall momentum or health of a company, depending on where you're at, resistance or support wise. And we'll be laying out some of the, these candlesticks and moving averages on Robinhood, just for simplicity's sake, and we'll show you how to get there. So here we go. First, you'll go onto Robinhood here, and then on the search bar, you type in Apple. From the Apple stock screen, you'll go into expand charts, you can't get the expand charts uh, for mobile, you can only get it via desktop and also iPad. And you have to be on a browser to get on it. And this is the current chart for Apple. We're looking at a month time frame, as you can see on the right. Under add data, you can add on moving averages. And this is the five day moving average. You can also add on multiple moving averages and adjust the colors and day periods. Um, on top of that, we can get the exponential moving average just by clicking under the moving average and then also we change the color and the day periods too. We'll go further into detail how you can read moving averages down the road in our sequences of technicals. As of right now, we're going to go to the chart line and we're going to change the chart line from line to candlesticks. This is how you read candlesticks uh, or get to candlesticks on Robinhood. And each candlestick represents the amount of volume and which direction they're going. So on the left-hand side, we can see that we have a volume bearish candle, which leads to this hammer. How you can see that there's a bearish engulfing candle is that it looks like an escalator going down. So we get higher lows every single time and lower low points, which means that we're going down price action. The hammer usually represents a bottom point and what happens during hammers is typically a reversal. So you see that Apple's going up now. As we go farther to the right-hand side, this is a bullish engulfing candle. So that means there's more bullish behavior. So we get higher high points and lower high points. So it's a ascending staircase. On the far right, once it hits the upper support line, you get this doji candle. Doji candles usually represent that stocks are dry, trading sideways. And these are four examples of candlestick patterns that you can use for everyday trading. If you liked what you've seen today, please hit the subscribe button and also check, our, check out our Instagram page.